Hello, foodie beauties. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm having some Middle Eastern food. Um, I'm having lamb. I think it's lamb or mutton. It's um, lamb meat, like the same animal. <laughs> I think it's mutton, a little older than lamb, uh, with Bukhari rice. So um, we call it lahm in Arabic, or they call it, Ar not Arabic, but lahm. And we have some fruit iced tea some, whoa this is like a pull-off cap okay with a glass of ice what the heck I'm a noob noob yummy bismillah and we have some greens mm. with lemon we have mabuch which is like a pepper vinaigrette kind of thing tomato garlic and the bukhari rice is afghani style rice with raisins carrots very delicious and savory buttery we have the beans. Beans and broth that always comes with it. And we have the bread and I have some cheese. Little uh, like kiri type cheese. Yes. So, let me just take the meat out. I don't want the plastic spoon. My cat is attacking me. Hey, from under the table. I don't know why. <laughs> what are you doing? Where's your head? Give me her. She's so hyper. I think it's because she's still so young. But man, I forgot what it's like to have a little beezer. <laughs> she locked, she got locked in the bathroom because we shut the door, the doors to the bathrooms because we don't want her to get trapped or get, I don't know. I don't like her being in the bathrooms just at her age, you know. Beauty bite, let me dip it in the broth. <gasps> Yum. I hear meow, meow. Yeah. I didn't know she came in the bathroom after me. So I shut the door behind me, not realizing she was in the bathroom. <laughs> anyway, I know what you're thinking. You don't like this kind of meat. Okay, so I don't know if it's from living here and seeing people eat this meat all the time. I did try this once and it's actually flavorful from this place. So I do like it. Julia, it's really tender and really flavorful from here, from this place. Mmm. She's destroying my clothes, yeah. <laughs> Julia! <laughs> I 
So, I know I did milk bank from this place before. But like I said, most of the things I do on my channel are not going to be done just for content. Like I'm just going to be documenting parts of my life and that I want to share. And that includes what I eat. So today I felt like eating this, so that's the video, you know? For example, I'm not just going to be like, I haven't done a Domino's Pizza one, so I should do a video on Domino's Pizza. Because I don't feel like eating pizza, you know? But. It's also going to be that way with my dieting. This whole journey to health or weight loss, whether I succeed or not, whether I fail, if I cheat, whatever, you're going to see it. I'm not going to hide and um, just because I'm afraid of losing people. I don't bend the knee for anyone. For example, a reaction community, the reaction community, well, the wish version of the reaction community <laughs> was mad that I got a cat or something about my actions. I don't know. So they tried to do a blackout. I'm not going to do what you want me to do. I'm not going to bend the knee. <laughs> I'm going to live my life regardless of who approves or disapproves. And people will come and go. I have different phases of my life. That's normal. Yeah. Um, it's like fall off the bone. <laughs> and that's your prerogative. People have a right to disagree with what I do. But it doesn't mean I'm going to change my behavior. Again, bend the knee. To make people happy. That's a fake way of life. And I want to share my struggles too. So yes. So But I am going to get back on track once I get my, my meals. Um, I've also come to the decision that I have decided that I don't think I want to go to Canada. I know I'm changing my mind a lot. <laughs> I 
I want to leave Canada and the bad vibes there in the past and move on with my life. Some things I had to take care of. I'm finding out if I can take care of it from here. Um, so I'm waiting news on that. But I'm going to be tempted by so many things going back there. And I want to focus on going on this trip. I don't want to delay this trip. I don't want to delay the travel content. Um, I just don't want to do it. I don't want to leave my, my pets. I don't want to leave Salah. I don't want to leave my home. Julia! <laughs> no. You just ate your crunchies! I'm just taking out some of the meat away from the fat and bone. Um, mm. Very fatty, some of it. But I guess that's what makes it tender. Do cats like this meat? You cannot have much. Um, so, I'm just not ready now to go. So, no, I have a new life now. So, I mean, I just... I'm not feeling it, you know. Is that marrow? Just not feeling it. So, I talk to my family, like I'll see them someday. <laughs> but for now, we have other things to focus on. And, uh, that's it. To me, I just want to focus on moving on. My journey, I have a lot to do to improve my life, so... And then I think I'm going to mix all the soup in here. Yeah. Perfect. Hi, Julia. Baby girl, baby girl. So I just want to focus on my growth uh, as a person. Um, our travel. So that's it. I'm staying put. <laughs> and we will travel together. Inshallah. Where we plan on going. In the first place. So I have a lot of work to do on myself before we get there. So I hope you'll join me. I'm kind of just eating what I want. This weekend for dinners. Because I get my, I start my diet plan one day.
So, mm. the meat is good. Um, yeah, no Canada. I don't feel like traveling doing the the long long journey I know I was excited about tra traveling to a different country but oh, I don't know when I really think about it And I'll miss a lot. I don't know if it's because we're like, obviously because I love him, but we're new, newly married. And always at the beginning of a new relationship, you know, you, you, you're so in love, you're in the honeymoon phase and you just like, don't want to be apart. Like, we are barely ever apart. <laughs> Pretty much the only time is when he goes out to do something, you know, for like, when we had the old car for the car to fix something on the car, which a lot of women don't go and do that with their husbands in this part of the world. It's just like industrial area, you know, or do something for his business but it's not very long and we're still like communicating and voice noting and texting and calling each other the whole time <laughs> so for me to travel for a few weeks a month <laughs> i don't want to you know I can't imagine like a day without him now. <laughs> mm. But, oh my gosh, it'll be so nice to travel with him. I hope this works out. So, I'm going to try to work hard, you know, we'll see, Monday will be the real test. But I mean, the meal plan comes with like, I mean, I mean part of the, the struggle for me and the loss of motivation was having to prepare meals myself and balance them out, count the calories. So I just end up giving up and ordering out, but this is all done for me. So, that's a huge weight off my shoulders. And I could see why people use these services. Like I said, the food is made fresh. It's not packaged stuff. So I'll be getting three meals. Two snacks. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
But you can trade one of the snacks for like a salad. So I'm trading it for a salad. <laughs> Cause I need to have at least one salad with like my dinner. And then the snack I think is going to be like some kind of dessert. So I'll have my breakfast, have lunch, dinner with the salad. <clears throat> and then a little later have the dessert and that will be it. A routine. It's so going to be so weird to me, you know. So I see a lot of the same comment. It's, it's I find it weird because it's like the comment is like you could have done. What are you doing? You know, you could have done. You're just sitting and eating. You could have done all this in Canada. All of what? Like, my problems don't, they follow you everywhere. It's not an indication of uh, unhappiness. It's just, just because I move here magically, all my problems are going to disappear. No, I still have to deal with them. <laughs> I moved here to be with my husband. And for other reasons that are just personal. Like I like, as a Muslim, I think I like, I love being in the Middle East, you know? And I love Kuwait. I don't like being tied down in one place forever. That's why I wanted, we will both want to travel. We have similar dreams and aspirations. So, I have to do this. But yeah. Um, I'm not going back to Canada, so. <laughs> I think a lot of my audience is still waiting around to see if I'm gonna like cave or something and move back or they still associate me they think that I still have a connection with um, the abuser, which is really odd to me. Like, yeah, while I was in it, it was hard to get out and it was hard to see what was really going on. But now that I'm out and I'm in love and happy with someone else, it's hard to see what the heck I ever saw. <laughs> what the heck I was ever doing with myself. And I don't want to ever go back to that kind of life, ever. I, I will never. So, this is my life now. And inshallah, if God's willing, we will travel for a while and that will be the future for now. <laughs> um, so yeah. I don't know. That's it.
It was very filling, but I was so hungry. The meat is delicious. I cra I just started craving it. I because Salah would always be like, try a bite, try a bite, try a bite. Like, how can you not like this meat? It's so delicious here. <laughs> and I never liked um, a lamb or you know. But I think how you cook it makes a big difference because this one is very delicious. Eid is on the 28th, I believe. And part of the celebration is sacrificing a sheep. And huge celebrations. So that will be interesting. It'll be my first one. We're not going to be sacrificing a sheep, but people do here. <laughs> I love the raisins in the rice. Mm. She loves to sleep on my prayer mat. <laughs> Are you Muslim? Yes. Hey, babe. My babe, finished? Uh -uh. You? Yeah, I'm done. I'm full now. Oh. I can't stop eating it. It's so delicious. Yeah. So you done with lamb? Yeah. You like it? Mm. Mm. Once in a while I crave, I, I'll probably crave it, but... I bet for that. <laughs> <laughs> How's Julia? She likes my prayer mat because she's Muslim. Yeah, inshallah. She will pray now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be done in a minute. I'm very full, babe. Thanks, babe. <clears throat> we'll probably play some GTA later. Maybe. Those of you who don't know, Salah has a gaming channel. The link is in my description. All the, the our channel links and all our social media links are in the description. Okay, guys. Well, that's about it for this session. I'm pretty full. They always give you so much rice. <laughs> um, anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video, okay? Thanks for having dinner with me. Bye. <laughs>